Hello children, today we are going to learn in subtraction one more step further, okay. Now let's have a look at this subtraction of a single digit number from a two digit number with regrouping. Last time we have also done the same but without regrouping. Today we are going with regrouping. Okay, so just have a look at this example, subtract 7 from 25. So, 10, 1, 25 we are written minus 0, 7, 17. Okay, like this we have to write now. See how we have to solve this. Place the two, place the digit in the 10s and 1s column as shown. Then number 2, step 2, subtract the 1s in the 1s place that is 5 minus 7. As you can see 5 is less than 7. So we need to regroup. We had to group, we had to regroup 2 tens and 5 ones as 1 ten and 15 ones we had to do regroup. First we have got the two a group of 2 tens and 5 ones. Now we will regroup 1 ten and 15 ones. Okay, so we will borrow from here, then we, bo we borrow, that is we borrow 110 from the tens column. Now we have 15 ones and 15 ones minus 7 ones, Fifth now this 2 we will give 1 here, shift 1 here, so this will re remain 1 here and this will become 15, okay, so 15 minus 7. So in the same way we had to do backward counting. These are seven, 15 in the mouth, 7 in the fingers. And do backward counting. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, 8 is there. Then 1 minus 0, 1. So 15 minus 7, 8, 1 minus 0, 1. So, like this we have to do 25 minus 7 equal to 18. Okay, subtract the tens. We have 110 in the tens place and 110 minus 0 equal to 110. So, like this we have to solve subtraction of a single digit number from a two digit number with regrouping. So children, now let's solve exercise 4.4. Subtract the following. Number 1, 13 minus 8. Okay, tens, ones. So, this is your 1, 3, 13 minus 8. So, how you have to do? 3 minus 8 we can't do because 3 is less than 8. So, we have to borrow from tens place. So this 1 minus 1 will become 0 and this 3 will become 13. So 13 minus 8. Now you have got one more method. You have to count from forward counting. Also you can do 8 in the mouth, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you can write here 5. Then 1 minus 0, 0 minus, okay, 0. Again, 20 minus 5. So, 0 minus 5 you can't do. So, again, you have to borrow. So, 2 minus 1 will become 1 and this 1, 0 will become 10. So, 10 minus 5. Okay, so you can... Uh, also do this sum by forward counting 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many lines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can write here 5. Then 1 minus 0, 1. So 20 minus 5 is 15. So in this way children you can solve exercise 4.4. Children, as you can see, there are 10 sums in exercise 4.4. 2 in that group I had done, 
Now this is here also 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sums are there. So here also I am solving your last two sums. Okay. So this is 91 minus 7. So 91 minus 7, how much is this? 1 is less than 7. So we will borrow from the tens place. So this 10, 9 minus 1 will become 8. And we have 1, 10 will come here and it will become 11. So 11 minus 7. So how you can do by forward counting? 7 in the mouth, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so how many uh, numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can write here also like this. 11 minus 7 is 4. 8 minus 0 is 8. Okay, then again this. 5 minus 9. We, 85 minus 9. So what we will do? 5 minus 9 we can't do as 5 is less than 9. So we will borrow from the tens place. Okay, so we will borrow then... 8 minus 1, 7. So, 15 minus 9. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what is this? 6. Then, 7 minus nothing, 7. So, this is 85 minus 9 is 76. So, in this way you can solve exercise 4.